Hello everybody, I am Super Mario Sunderclover and welcome to Let's Play Kirby's Epic Yarn. A playthrough that I really should have gone and recorded like a couple months ago because um, yeah, uh, for a while my channel has kind of been laying dormant and just nothing ha was being uploaded for a while. Now, um, basically the reason for that or the main reasons is because at for a while I only had Burp I Sleep uh, ready to upload and I wanted to have something else uploaded um, alongside it. And there's that um, 2.8 coming out on in January so I had, I basically spent quite a lot of time just playing through Dream Drop Distance and 0 0.2 and all that. And then there's also the fact that Jason and I have started the Kingdom Hearts 1 playthrough, which won't probably won't be shown for... I, I'm going to take a wild guess and say until like August, September maybe. And even then, that's probably being a bit generous. So, yeah, you kind of wanted to get as much of that playthrough done as possible before the Switch came out. And as of this recording, we're almost done, but since the Switch is out... Um, yeah, we're probably going to be having a back, but uh, putting that playthrough on the back burner for a little bit. But even though the Switch is out and Zelda is all great and all, I have to sacrifice uh, what uh, play being able to play Zelda a little bit and actually get something done for this channel. So hey, I got some. Uh, sometimes there are sacrifices you have to make when you have to, when you make a YouTube account. Or YouTube channel, even. Uh, same thing. Either way, though, let's get this started. It's been a decent amount of time since I did Kirby's Adventure, so I think it's high time to do another Kirby game. Welcome to Dreamland, a kingdom famous for peace and quiet. It's the perfect little land if you like that sort of thing. Lately, there have been rumors of a caped sorcerer going around, turning people into yarn. That's right, yarn. One day, Kirby saw his favorite food, a bright red tomato on top of a bush. I bet it's yummy. But when Kirby tried to eat it, the caped sorcerer appeared. My name is... Hey, what are you doing? Oh man, this <laughs> British, British narrator, like, I, I didn't even know that there was a different narrator for, um, the, for the European version, because I only heard the American narrator before I played this game, and just hearing this, it's like, oh man. <laughs> It feels like trousers. And to Kirby's surprise, he saw that his entire body was made out of yarn. Then he saw a yarn monster chasing a blue yarn ball. Somebody help me! Kirby tried to swallow the monster up. But the air went right through his body. Kirby wondered what he should do. Suddenly, Kirby transformed into a car. He drove away with the ball and left the monster behind to eat his dust. <coughs> Apparently, that strange Metamato gave Kirby the power to seamlessly transform into a car, and who knows what else? Yep, that should tell you that this is not going to be like a regular Kirby game at all. Hey, oh. Thanks for saving me. What's that? You say you're from another world? Well, welcome to Patchland. You just stick with me and I'll show you the ropes. Yeah, we're going to be using a lot of ropes. Alright, this is my castle, so free for, feel free to look around here as much as you want. Alright, so... Basically, Prince Fluff is there to basically be your... Um, second player, so yeah, you can play this game co-op. Uh, Prince of Fluff doesn't really have anything special that Kirby doesn't have. It's basically uh, like Luigi and 
uh, Mario 1 or something. <laughs> so, you know, I haven't really played this mu game that much on co-op. Like, I'm more of a single-player gamer, and again, and I mean, there's not a lot of people I can really play the game with. But, um, yeah, it's basically just a little, a very easy um, and calming game. And basically just want to, you want to, like, hold one if you want to turn every, something into a yarn ball like this. And there are some, like, pieces of fabric, I guess, that you can't just tear, tear apart with just your rope. So you have to throw a yarn ball at it. And doing certain actions turns Kirby into different, um, different things, I guess. So you go just jump into the wall and you turn into a submarine. So it's not very different from other Kirby games where you uh, suck up an enemy, you get like beam or fire or something. In here, you basically do a certain action or go to a certain area that will give you a transformation. So if I double tap, I turn into a car for super speed. And yeah, the, the uh, main um, challenge for this game, I guess, would be to try and get your, um, try and get the, uh, these, uh, gems or beads and basically make it so on the top, on the top of the screen there, it goes all the way up to at least the, um, little line on the side. Like, I think that gives us a little badge and I think that's, I think that can be used to unlock new stages. Actually, no, okay, so now it's just, a, there's just a gold medal, but later on, uh, like, I think from the boss in every level, and every level after that, there are like, uh, there's like another, another thing you can get from the beads, and that's basically another badge to unlock, like, extra stages and all that, which, I'm not too sure if I'm gonna 100% this game, um, I'm gonna try and show off all the levels at least. Um, and show off like some of the extra mini games and whatnot. Uh, but if we miss some collectibles and whatnot, um, then maybe I'll just give up. I, I don't know. It's an easy enough game, so I can probably uh, end up doing it. But we'll see. Because I never actually 100% of this game fully. I feel like we've already missed a treasure. <laughs> It's been a while since I played this game as well. Alright, yeah, we got everything. Okay. And those uh, beads are basically used to buy some stuff. You can totally ignore them, though. The blue yarn boy said. Not that I needed it. I'm Prince Fluff. Ever since Yin Yang the Sorcerer ripped Patchland into seven pieces, you just can't go anywhere without running into these horrible... But Fluff was interrupted when they were attacked by a huge three-eyed blob of yarn. Ugh, yuck! Stop it! But before the blob could eat Prince Fluff, Kirby transformed and smashed it to smithereens in a most spectacular fashion. Among the little blob bits, there was a shimmering piece of spiraling yarn. That's it. That's the piece of the magic yarn, Fluff explained. This was what Prince Fluff had been looking for. Yin Yarn had stolen the magic yarn from Patchland. <laughs> Go together for sake. The yarn weaved its way into the fabric of the kingdom and stitched two pieces of patchland together. Yeah, I just like how they look like pieces of pie or piece or something. The rest of it. Kirby, always happy to help, decided to help his friend boy, 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 boy. in pieces, and the two began their journey to stitch patchland back together. Yay. But yeah, like the beads you can buy stuff with and basically use it to decorate um, some houses and whatnot. But they 
nothing you buy uh, really affects like uh, Kirby himself, so you won't like jump higher or something like that. So you, again, you can complete, completely ignore them, and at the moment we can't even buy anything. So, but if I go in here, also I like how it's the same sound as a uh, going in to a door in a uh, regular Kirby game. But yeah, this is basically just how much you have uh, completed for every um, every kind of thing in the game. So the all the fabric you bought, all the what is the stuff just all the clothes? Yeah, these are all the stuff you c uh, can find in uh, stages and whatnot. And cast is like all the characters and. Medals, tunes. I guess you just have to get all the gold medals. Yeah. Music and films. I guess you have to just beat the game to get all the, the films. Unless there's a secret movie for 100%. Alright. What do you have to say? Prince Fluff, what an unexpected surprise. And who might your friend be? Lord Kirby, you say, is visiting us from another world, you say? How exciting. My name is Dom Wool, and it is my pleasure to make your acquaintance. Lord Kirby is helping you save our beloved Patchland. Oh, that's just wonderful. I am the manager of Qu uh, Quoty Court here. Please come inside for a moment, I insist. And I believe this is the uh, little uh, flat, I guess, we uh, get to just decorate and whatnot. Welcome to your new home. Yep. Ooh. Okay, it just gives us this. Yeah, don't worry about that. I don't think it ever matters. Enjoy the space. Yeah, that will come into play a bit later. But there are other people that uh, come to Patch land, I guess. Alright, so... Basically, what you want to do is, uh... How do I do this exactly? Alright, press A, and then this happens. And... I don't think I've ever done that, actually. Uh, wallpaper... We have nothing. Place, and this just place like stuff around. Don't really have a lot, so just back. And if you jump in the chair here and you press down, Kirby just sits on it like that. Just cute little detail. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you, you don't really have to do much with that feature now. Like, you can go crazy decorating your house if you want, but or your flat even. But um, the only time where it's really like a required f um, thing is when like other residents uh, tr drop in and ask you to decorate their ho their flats for for them. It's like, uh. I rent- I'm gonna rent this flat, but I- <laughs> I don't care about, uh, buying my own, um, furniture up or anything like that. Like, do it for me, it's like, okay then. But yeah. Thanks for the beads. Alright. But yeah, this game does a lot of, um... Um, platforming challenges where you have to go through a little area like that and yeah and I mean it's a very peaceful and relaxing game this this is like it can get pretty t pretty tough like uh, sometimes and trying to keep a hold of your bees because if you get hit um, you basically uh, 
some of your beads fall out and falling make basically makes like tons fall out and uh yeah it's like when you when that happens try your best to get these stars back because those those equal a lot of beads and yeah I'll try my best to complete this game. We'll see how well it goes. And it's still just very calm music. And those things right there. Uh, did I miss anything? No, I'm good. Hey, right. those little things that just popped up there. Basically, um, you saw at the end of the last level where it had those three little rotating, rotating things at the end or whatever. The uh, one. The uh, things in the level there basically made it so um, that uh, side of the uh, ending circle would be there, basically, so, you know. You don't exactly, I don't think you actually, actually have to pick it up or anything, it just kind of vanishes and goes there, and yeah, it's like... The one you want to look out for is the red one with like five stars on it because that gives gives you a lot of uh, bead bonuses and you want that. <laughs> and just Kirby going on his uh, daily rampage just killing all these innocent creatures. What's new? Yeah, it's like... This game has a certain challenge, like, uh, of, like, trying to keep a hold of your beads and stuff, but if you're just trying to get from point A to point B, it's, it's like, the easiest game I can really think of. And please go up. Yep. Yay, the clouds. Alright. I feel like this is the end. Oh, no, it's not. Okay. Alright. Not gonna use that one. Yeah, the music is also uh, very nice and charming as well. It's funny, though, because, like, this is, um... Actually, no, I played this game a lot later. I played uh, Kirby Wii first, then this, which is... Kind of funny, considering this game came out, uh, what was it, it was like 2010, uh, Return to Dreamland was 2011, I think? Yeah, because it came out the same time as, the same year as Sonic Generations, and I really shouldn't have killed that Waddle D. Oh, I can do this. Woo! Yay. Improvising. But yeah, um, for the longest time, I didn't really have that many Kirby games. Like, Kirby's Adventure was the only game, Kirby game I had for a very long time. And it wasn't until Kirby, Kirby's Return to Dreamland came out where I started to uh, get more of the games. Like, I think my brother got Mass Attack, played through that game. I, um, what was it? And then... And then eventually I got this game as well, um, and then Triple Deluxe. I still haven't played a ton of Kirby games though. I haven't played any of the Dreamland games, thinking about it actually. Um, oh, this is an instant. This is an instance of a transformation area. So first off, we get a freaking tank. So that's all good. You just blow everything up like you don't care. Who said Kirby's a, Kirby's a game for kids? But yeah, it's like... Um, what is it? Um, I forgot what I was saying. Um, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, you just press, keep spamming one, shoot missiles at everyone, and two is your rocket boosters. Nothing too uh, hard. It, it, it's... Oh yeah, I was talking about uh, the Kirby games I had and all that, but yeah, the um, but yeah, it's like very simple with this tank. You just spam rockets, 
Um, just jump when you need to, but yeah. But yeah, um... Alright, grab the star. Good. Alright, we're good. Alright, we've got everything. But yeah, it's like, um... I had uh, Trouble Deluxe and all that, and... Still haven't played Dreamland 1, 2, or 3. Haven't played Air Ride. Haven't played, um... That should do it. Yes. Come on, don't move. Yes. Okay. But, um... Yeah, I... There's a, there are a lot of Kirby games I haven't played yet. I haven't played 64 either. And, um... Yeah, it's like... I I really resent the fact that... It's like... Um, Dream Collection never came out in uh, Europe. And it's like... Why? There are so many games I need to play. Like, nearly... What was it? I think every game in that collection I need to play. And if it came out in the UK, and Europe in general, it would have made my life so e so much easier to play the, uh, a lot of the Kirby games. But... Uh, I just... Oh, man. I mean, I know I can just buy all the games on Virtual Console and stuff, but... Still, it's like... Get, you, you would be getting more for... Uh, less price. Or whatever. With the uh, Dream Collection. And there's also, like, different... Uh, new copyability challenges. That are based on Return to Dreamland. So... Um, I, st I really wish we got... Dream Collection over here. But... There's like... I can probably find some way to play it, but the fact that I have to, like, go out and, like, uh, figure something out like this is just really sad. Like, <laughs> there's no reason for it to not come out over here. Uh, apparently, Kirby, game, Kirby games don't do that well over here, and that's part of the reason why, but come on, man. I like Kirby. Game, Kirby games are fun. I want, I want that. I want them to come out over here just as much as... Every anywhere else. <laughs>